Richard Mill, an Australian composer living and working in Adelaide. A recent work of Mill's, Incredible Floridas, owes its inspiration to the 19th century French poet Arthur Rimbaud. Rambo is a, a very strange sort of early rebel. He opposed all standard values. And curiously enough, although he was such a great poet, by 20, he just stopped writing, just gave up his work. I've always been fascinated with Arthur Rambo's poetry. He's a very strange figure, I think, in the poetic world, to have written so much and in such a short time. His poetry is so strange, uh, one can't fully penetrate it, and yet it leaves you haunted. Despite the qualities of the piece, it's an example of how you can use chord multiplication. Ten years ago I decided I would write this homage, and yet I never got round to it from a sort of fear of the work itself, until finally it just got the better of me and I had to write it. I started out to write this homage, planning it very carefully as I usually do, but then the whole mystery of Rumba's work became so intense that my planning wasn't sufficient for it. So I let the poems just play in my mind and let the work then write itself. the title of the work from a line of one of his poems, I've struck, I tell you, incredible Floridas. This to me summed up the peak of ecstasy that he'd reached. It's dangerous once you've touched ecstasy, you can never retain it, you can never get it back. Ah, black, a, white, e, red, u, green. O, oh, blue, vowels, one day I shall tell of your mysterious origins. Ah, black velvety jacket of brilliant flies, which buzz around cruel smells, gulfs of shadow. A, whiteness of vapors of tents, lances of proud glaciers, white kings, shivers of cow parsley. E, purples, spat blood, Smile of beautiful lips in anger or in the raptures of penitence. Ooh, waves, divine shudderings of viridian seas, the peace of pastures dotted with animals, the peace of the furrows which alchemy prints on broad studious foreheads. Oh, sublime trumpet full of strange piercing sounds, silences crossed by angels and by worlds. Oh, the omega the violet ray of her eyes. His work is not really evil, though it superficially can appear to be evil. It's a question of going beyond evil in his work. It's filled with horror and evil visions, and I've tried to maintain this in my own work.
enterrer quelques jours de naissance.
It's strange that you write a work under certain circumstances, and yet, when it's played, takes on a life of its own.